I don't know how they did it. All I know is they did it. I don't think anybody knows. The methods used by the ancient builders remain a mystery to everyone. For ages, Egypt has been a vast treasure chest of ancient wonders where history seamlessly blends with the present. Every grain of sand here hints at uncovering something extraordinary. However, what these explorers found exceeded everyone's expectations. They stumbled upon a tomb of a queen who lived 800,000 years ago. Her story is shrouded in mystery, her identity lost to time. Who is this queen? What secrets does her ancient tomb hold? Join us as we explore the incredible discovery made by scientists in Egypt. On January 25th, 2011, the streets of Cairo were filled with protesters demanding the end of President Hosni Mubarak's 30-year rule. Amid this chaos, a remarkable discovery was quietly unfolding far below the surface. Deep in the ancient tunnels of the Valley of the Kings, a team of archaeologists led by Susan Bickel from the University of Basel in Switzerland was on the brink of uncovering one of the most significant archaeological finds of the century. They found the top of a large round stone at the valley's eastern end. Initially, they thought it was just the top of an abandoned shaft, but it turned out to be the entrance to a previously unknown tomb later identified as KV-64. This discovery was significant, as the Valley of the Kings, a royal burial ground for pharaohs and nobles, had not seen such an important find in decades. Before they could explore further, they had to comply with Egypt's strict regulations for archaeological discoveries. They covered the stone with a locked iron door, informed the Egyptian authorities, and applied for the necessary permits. A year later, after receiving approval, Bickel returned to the site with a team of about two dozen experts and laborers, including Elena Pischikova, a distinguished field director from the University of Basel, and Egyptian inspector Ali Reza. The local workers, whose families had lived in the area for generations, also joined the team. The atmosphere was filled with anticipation as they prepared for the careful task ahead. Each member took turns lying on the ground, pressing their heads against the cool shaft wall and reaching through a small hole next to the capstone to take photographs. The images they captured revealed an ancient tomb untouched for millennia, holding secrets of a long-lost era. Inside the tomb, amidst the debris, was a dusty black coffin, an extraordinary find. It was carved from plain tree wood and adorned with large, vibrant yellow symbols on its sides and top. Elena Pischikova, who had seen numerous Egyptian artifacts, declared that she had never encountered a coffin in such excellent condition. The team also discovered fragments of pottery made from Nile silt and pieces of plaster, materials commonly used by ancient Egyptians to seal tomb entrances. These findings, along with the dating of nearby sites, suggested the tomb was over 3,000 years old, dating back to the New Kingdom period, when pharaohs like Ramses II and Tutankhamun ruled Egypt. The symbols revealed the tomb belonged to a woman named Nemsbadet. Experts in ancient Egyptian history believe she was a high-ranking lady associated with the Ammonius Temple. Nems Batet lived during a time of cultural and religious activity, making her burial site particularly fascinating. For years, people believed there was nothing new to discover in the Valley of the Kings. Dating back to the earliest digs, Giovanni Belzoni, an antiquarian from Venice, 
thought he had uncovered the last of the tombs in the valley during his 1817 expedition. About a century later, another excavator, Theodore Davis, also believed he had finished exploring the valley just before the discovery of Tutankhamun's tomb. The Valley of the Kings has long been a treasure trove of ancient wonders. During the New Kingdom period, it served as the burial ground for pharaohs and powerful nobles from the 16th to the 11th century BC. Each tomb tells the story of the individual buried within and the society that built it. These tombs are often decorated with detailed wall paintings and inscriptions that provide insights into the religious beliefs and daily life of ancient Egyptians. Fortunately, more people now think there are still many hidden treasures in the Valley of the Kings, the Nile Delta, and across Egypt. Modern technology, such as ground-penetrating radar and 3D mapping, has revolutionized how archaeologists search for and study ancient sites. These advancements have led to the discovery of previously hidden chambers and artifacts, suggesting the valley still holds many secrets. Discoveries like Nem's Bastet's tomb continue to spark interest in these ancient mysteries. The artifacts found within her tomb, although simple, can provide valuable information about the burial practices and daily life of the upper class in ancient Egypt. Items such as pottery, jewelry, and amulets often hold symbolic meaning and were believed to protect and provide for the deceased in the afterlife. It is fascinating that even a wealthy woman from this period was buried with relatively simple belongings. Bickle notes that Nem's Bastet's plain wooden coffin and basic steel tools stand in stark contrast to the luxurious pottery, furniture, and food found in older tombs. Though her wooden coffin was costly, it lacked the complex inner coffin seen in other similar burials. Could this be the resting place of an incredibly ancient queen? The discovery of Nem's Bastet's coffin caused a stir among Egyptologists. Unlike the elaborate gold and jewel-encrusted sarcophagi of well-known pharaohs like Tutankhamun, Nem's Bastet's burial suggests a different social status, or possibly an even older time. Wooden coffins were typically used for those who could not afford stone, Yet the craftsmanship indicates she was still an important figure. After reinforcing the coffin and securing the mummy, Bickle's team transported it across the Nile to Luxor. There, a thorough investigation is underway to uncover the true identity of this mysterious woman. Advanced imaging techniques, including CT scans and 3D reconstructions, are being used to study the mummy without damaging it. DNA analysis may provide clues about her lineage, potentially linking her to known royal families or revealing previously unknown connections. With significant insights into the controversial finds of ancient Egypt, people often find that the simplest tombs with wooden coffins turn out to be the oldest. Additionally, their symbols are frequently more detailed. Some experts believe that earlier periods focused more on the quality of descriptions rather than the excess of burial goods. Could this be the discovery of an original burial, with the simple signs falsely claiming the identity of the occupant to conceal the tomb's true ancient origins? Some alternative scientists suggest that Egyptian antiquities might be hiding a sacred truth. They believe the Egyptians merely copied the original builders of the pyramids, taking over their structures after they were already constructed. Years later, people continue to uncover fascinating evidence supporting these claims in various forms. 
1995, a remarkable discovery was made under Giza by a team led by Kent Weeks. They unearthed over 100 underground chambers, shedding new light on the ancient site. Some alternative researchers proposed that the history of ancient Egypt might be entirely different from the official narrative. According to these researchers, the inhabitants of the Pharaonic Empire were not the original builders of the pyramids. Instead, they believed the Egyptians copied the grand structures created by an earlier unknown civilization. But how credible are these claims? Is there any substantial evidence to back them up? Supporters of this theory often point to the significant erosion patterns found on the pyramids and, most notably, the Sphinx. They argue that the heavy rainfall that caused these erosion marks suggests the Stone Guardian is much older than mainstream experts' belief. Detailed studies of past rainfall patterns indicate the erosion does not match the presumed period when the pyramids and the Sphinx were built. Remarkably, some theorists suggest these structures could be as old as 800,000 years. However, this idea presents a major challenge. The current understanding indicates that Homo sapiens have only been around for about 300,000 years, making it seemingly impossible for humans to be the builders. If these claims hold any truth, they would radically change the understanding of human history and ancient civilizations. The possibility that an advanced society predating known human history might have existed is both thrilling and bewildering, inviting people to rethink the origins of some of the world's most iconic structures. What's remarkable is that these chambers show evidence of multiple flash flooding events involving seawater throughout the ages, suggesting a complex history people are only beginning to understand. What adds to the mystery is the absence of any written records detailing the construction of these monuments. Despite extensive writings found in ancient Egypt, there's no mention of how the pyramids or the Sphinx were built. This interesting gap in historical records sparks curiosity. Surprisingly, more hasn't been shared about such a significant find, leaving people to wonder about the implications of this discovery. Could it be a groundbreaking but controversial revelation? Delving into Kulab, a site that had been explored extensively apart from its massive ancient walls surrounding the entrance, Kulab's location atop a naturally formed hill challenges previous assumptions made by academia. This site holds layers of history waiting to be uncovered, potentially reshaping the understanding of the past. Upon exploring this site, the construction of the wall upon closer examination revealed a monumental feat of human labor and engineering, yet what lay beyond this formidable barrier surpassed mere expectations of an ancient defense. The uncovering of a pyramid at Kulab added a whole new dimension to the historical narrative. The discovery of a previously unknown pyramid within the confines of Kulab prompted a re-evaluation of the ancient site. This pyramid, unlike those found in Egypt, featured unique architectural styles and construction techniques that hinted at a distinct civilization separate from the ancient Egyptians. The materials used in building the Kulab Pyramid differed significantly, comprising a mix of locally sourced stones and advanced composite materials. The discovery of ancient tools and artifacts scattered around the site indicated that the builders of Kulab possessed sophisticated technology and skills far ahead of their time. Intriguingly, Inscriptions and symbols on the pyramid's walls bore little resemblance to those of known ancient civilizations. 
Researchers were left pondering the origins and significance of these cryptic markings. Could this be evidence of an advanced civilization that existed long before recorded history? As excavation continued, the team uncovered a network of underground tunnels and chambers beneath the pyramid. These hidden passageways hinted at a complex society with advanced knowledge of engineering and architecture. The air in these subterranean spaces carried the faint scent of history as if the past had been preserved in a time capsule. Artifacts found within these chambers included intricate sculptures, tools, and remnants of ancient writings. The writings, although yet to be deciphered, suggested a sophisticated system of communication and record-keeping. What makes these finds even more compelling is the significant erosion patterns observed on the monuments at Kulab. Some experts argue that the heavy rainfall causing this erosion indicates that these structures might be much older than previously believed. The advanced nature of the technology used in constructing these monuments challenges the current understanding of human history and suggests that an advanced society predated known human civilizations. The discovery of the Kulab Pyramid and the Tomb of Nems bat at highlight the complexity and depth of ancient history that people have yet to fully comprehend. These findings challenge existing beliefs and open up new possibilities for understanding the origins of human civilization. As technology advances and new methods of exploration are developed, there's hope to uncover more hidden secrets that have been buried for millennia. The pursuit of uncovering the true origins of these ancient structures continues to captivate the imagination of historians, archaeologists, and the general public alike. Each new discovery brings people closer to understanding the mysteries of the past and sheds light on the remarkable achievements of ancient civilizations. The quest to unlock the secrets of the pyramids, the tombs, and the hidden chambers is an ongoing journey that promises to reveal more about the fascinating history of humanity. So, what does the future hold for the exploration of ancient Egypt and other historical sites around the world? With advancements in technology and new methods of archaeological exploration, there is hope to uncover more hidden treasures and gain a deeper understanding of human history. The discovery of the Kulab Pyramid and the Tomb of Nems Batet are just the beginning, and there's much more to explore and learn from these ancient wonders. The pursuit of knowledge and the quest to uncover the secrets of the past are never-ending, and each new discovery brings people closer to understanding the rich and complex history of the world.